Alright, uh, today on the channel, it's time for us to try another quick draft of Midnight Hunt. Let's get it on. Wow, Boros. Boros. We have not played Boros yet. We haven't faced Boros yet either. So, yeah, let's go for it. Let's see if Boros has what it takes to do some busyness. Busyness. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna take this guy. Seems pretty big. Not a huge fan of this. We do want to remove, although we really like this card. As usual, always big on remove. What is best for our deck? Try the devil. Devil Boros guy. Do we want this guy or do we want... Well, we'll take him. Candle trap. Not bad. Got this guy. We also got this guy. She's not bad either. Take this remover spell. Yeah, we'll take the griffin. And we'll take the pump spell. And the ruffian. Like Boros is wide open. Uh, nothing for us. Nothing for us in white. We're going to take the 5 damage removal spell, obviously. What is this? Creatures you control. That's not bad. Pump. Uh, do we want this? No, I think what we want is this guy. Another candle trap. And this guy can get double strike, so that's pretty good. Blessed Defiance is a pump. I think we'd rather have this big boy. And what does this do? First strike. Oh, this is the huge guy. Gonna take the huge guy. If he goes to knight, he becomes huge. Take the silver board here. Take the candle trap. We have two candle traps. Let's take the stuffy bear. And this two drop. I think this guy is a little bit better. And take the pump spell over the other two drop. And the commando is very good. And the vandal is playable. Or is it? I stream at 2 3 with menace that does something on top. It is definitely playable. Okay, any more bombs? Not for us. Although we do have a second one of him. And what do we have in red? The one damage, the perforator. Gonna take the perforator here. For more two drops. This guy gets huge. So we're gonna take him. I think we're gonna take another barrage here. Two barrages are pretty good. I think we're gonna take another flyer because we have enough guys on the ground. Uh, I think we're gonna take him. I don't think we wanna play too many can candle traps. Yeah, we'll take another griffin. We, we can win in the air. We'll take another barrage. Oh, nobody is playing uh, Boros, it seems. Uh, we're gonna have to cut a lot of stuff. We are gonna have to cut a lot of stuff to make this deck. Boros is wide open. Boros was wide open. And we got enough removal too. So... This means...
can block, but it doesn't do any damage. So let's see what we want to. Let's take that out first. Let's take that out. Let's keep. I think three is enough. Yeah, this guy is huge. This guy is out. This guy is meh. These guys are okay. But we gotta cut. Gotta cut a lot more creatures. Do we want this guy or do we want this guy? Both of them come back. Take him out. He could save somebody. Save somebody. We have three of... Play two barrages. Play one Vandal. This guy is too good for Coven. Too good. This guy is also really, really huge. Three flyers. We gotta cut one more guy. I think this is the worst guy. I think this is much better. I think. Therefore, I am. So we got two candle traps. And we got two Sangol barrage. That's four. Plus one burn the occur. That's five solid remover spells, I believe. And we still got 19 creatures. We have one drop, one drop, two drop, two drop, two drop, and then three drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, three drops. And then we have trainer, four mana, brigand at four mana. And then five mana, we have three flying guys, and two village watches. So, okay, it looks these. The draft deck is ready to boros our way to victory. Boros our way to victory. <laughs> First time to play boros in this format. We go first, and we have a couple of two drops. We got, we got the moves. We got the moves. We got the moves. We got the moves. This thing is very underrated. Just because he has flash, he can do a lot of stuff with flash. A lot of stuff, including killing random targets or artifacts or enchantments. Are we going to face Dimir again? No. Because last draft we faced almost all Dimir next. She only has first strike when she's attacking. Let's get this bad boy out. It's daytime. It's daytime. They should probably try to block her. Yeah, they should try to trade with her. Although there's nothing much we can do about it. We can't just sit back one turn and wait for them to cast something. <laughs> huh? That's, that's something. We're not sure what that is, but that is something. Opponent is playing some strange, strange deck. I mean, it does gain them three life, but to rest, yeah, I mean, you got it. Or which one are you gonna take? This one or this one? I 
Let's get this bad boy down. I mean, they are stuck on two mana. Oh, they took the candle trap, but this deals five damage, so he kills almost anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're gonna aggro us when you have no creatures in play. Sure. This is an instant, right? Yeah, okay. More damage. Yeah, this guy is pretty good. We could actually play two of them, but we have to take out another thing. We could take out one of the other five drops. Sure. I mean, we might as well play the commando end of turn to attack because we're not gonna keep it to block anything else. And we don't really care if they do manage to cast another creature, we can probably kill it with this. It's unfortunate they're stuck on two lands, but such is life. As you know, we always get mana screwed or uh, color screwed or... It is what it is. Yeah, back to back the rest. If we top deck a fifth land... It is over. Okay, well, I'll cast this guy. Eh? And it is what it is. I think maybe we're gonna play one more devil and take out one of the five drops because we remember we have too many five drops. Because we have the three four flyers and we have the other one. So I think it's better to have more three drops. So we're gonna take out the village watch. Because we have these guys and we have these guys which are pretty big. One village watch is enough. But I think one extra devil, a three mana, is probably better. Since he can do random damage, as you can clearly see. He probably dealt three or four extra points of damage. Maybe three points of damage every time he changed from day to night and night to day. Which is nothing to scoff at. To deal just damage. We're gonna keep this again. We have a two drop. Second turn perforator. Third turn stuffy bear. And of course opponent has ecstatic. Oh we can do perforator and vandal and then cast a stuffy bear. If we have four mana because we can cast it and we can activate it to block too. Okay this opponent is aggro. Opponent is aggro. Very, very aggro. Let's attack. I think they're not gonna block because they wanna suck this to them. Yep. So we need to top deck something to deal with these people. Because they wanna suck it and make it a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, we're not gonna fall for it. But we can cast Tuffy Bear next turn and block, have a blocker. Oh, they wanna get everything going at the same time. Okay, yeah, sure. Call Miss Cleo now, as they say. Call Miss Cleo now. See what she has to say to you. Opponent. They could block with this now. Yeah, because he can come back as a 3-3 with lifelink. I mean, there's nothing much we can do. We're getting mana flooded, as you can clearly see. Yep. We need to remove our ASAP. At least they can't attack this time. Oh, really? Really, opponent. You don't know what Stuffy Bear does? I guess they want to make this guy bigger. That's not... Useful. 
Okay, it's gone. Not coming back. Not coming. Oh no, this is Coven. Okay, let's pass the turn. Uh, I guess we can take some damage and attack them in the air and then cast this guy and we have mana for Stuffy the Bear. And of course they have main deck exorcism because why would they not have main deck exorcism? Uh, yeah, let's attack the village watch. Any more removal opponent? Uh, we'll block it. No problem. I don't think they want to suck this today. Okay. We get a card. Congratulations. Ah, this is annoying. We didn't get any of these. Can we stop drawing? Like, just stop drawing. Please. Please. We would like to not draw any more lands. Because opponent has five and we already have seven. Sure. Can we draw removal, please? Candle or something? Just block. Candle trap. Yeah, of course you're gonna suck. Yep. Can we get a remover spell for the love of all that is holy? Or no lands at least? The 5 damage remover spell will be good to kill this. Candor trap will also be good. That's neither. But he does have first strike. And this guy is a 5-4. Oh, we can't. We need Candle Trap to deal with this guy. And they still have three cards in hand. This is what's ridiculous. How did they manage to have six lands? Yeah, of course they have removal spell. How did they manage to have six lands in play? We have seven. And uh, they drew five more cards than us? How did they draw five more cards than us? Okay, no idea. Could be a blowout. This could be a blowout. But we're gonna have to try to take this guy out before he gets bigger. Ouch. Okay, yeah, so we're not winning this game. We are definitely not winning this game because opponent just has all the removal. After he killed our 5-5 five, five flyer for 2 mana, it was just disgusting. They have all the removal apparently in the world. <laughs> and they have a 5-7 and we can't draw candle trap to save our own life. We can't draw it to save our own life. And of course they have way more creatures. I'm not sure how because they have 19 creatures. How did they manage? Yep, yeah, and of course we're drawing more lands. Okay, move on to the next game. I mean, there's nothing we could have done in this game. Just the mana flood killed us. The mana flood absolutely killed us and not drawing the... Should we even play the other removal spell? <laughs> I 
Uh, we can cut one more. We haven't drawn like any of these. Yeah, we can play three sun gold barrages, but we had two and we still didn't. Let's just play three. We actually have four. But I think three plus this, that's already four plus two candle traps. That's six. That's six remover spells. We take out this. Okay, well, let's go crazy. We have seven removal spells, four big creatures. Which obviously the format is full of because that guy became 5-5 five, five, and then the other guy became like 4-6 or 5-7. So if we drew the removal spell, we could have killed them easily because we can't trade. Our guys are too small. So now we have 18 creatures plus the bear. And we have four of these. Because I think we have enough big guys. Actually, we have two of these and we have two of these plus three of the flyers. And no rares, I believe we have no rares. I'll put them all down to six and they are on green. I think we only need one white. Where is our like literally, where's our 2-drop and 3-drop? We have like 3 2-drops and we have... How many 3-drops now? 5? We don't want to candle trap the unruly mob, honestly. Yeah, but it looks like we're gonna candle trap the unruly mob. Because God knows we're not getting anything down. We gotta cast this guy because he has first strike. Actually, we have two of him. And of course they have a flyer. Wait, what? They could bounce back the mob. Whatever. They wanna hit us in the air. But we have a grief next turn, but they don't know that. I guess they can make it 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, make it 3-3 three, three and hit us in the air. If he gets to be 4-4, four, four, he will die. Yeah, let's get the grief. Guess we can attack with him. We're not really worried about this guy. Sure, they get a free block. That's the problem with candle trap. Please don't kill our griffin. That's fine, we can kill this guy with this. No problemo. Bye bye, because they're tapped out. Uh, attack with him. We can start casting this guy next turn, I guess. Because he does get first strike. He's huge also. Sure. Unlimited lands. Unlimited lands. Let's attack. Oh, they're gonna double block it. They're gonna double block our griffin and we don't have any pump. But if they do, we can kill the liar. Yeah, just kill the fire. I mean, we have two more of these. Okay, they don't have any good attacks. This thing gets huge. And it transforms, and it's over. Yeah, this thing becomes 5-4 and pumpable, and we have enough mana to pump him for a lot. So if they don't block, they're gonna take a lot of damage, maybe seven or eight points of damage for one creature. If they block, we kill both things. Because it gets first strike and gets pumped. Okay, so that was legit game. We got our mana, our opponent got their mana, we got flyers, because we have three of those griffins. 
We have five flyers, so actually we don't need the big guys on the ground. Because we have remover. Opponent goes first, if we keep this hand, we're gonna die. Because we have to hope. Okay, if we keep this hand, we might die too, but at least we have two things to stall the opponent. Oh, they mold down to 6 too. And of course they have the Awakener. Wakey, wakey. Haha. They got a first strike world 1 guy. Finally. It's supposed to be 1 drop, not 2 drop. Ah. Uh. Again. We're gonna discard it because we have four of them. Yeah, does not seem like we are drawing stuff. Uh, let's attack with this guy. No mana. I mean, only one color mana. It's pretty bad. Now we can't block. We could block, but they're gonna transform. But if they transform, we can candle trap him. <sighs> Honestly, really, back to back, no way out. Back to back, no way out. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's something. We're not gonna lie, that is something. And of course, we don't draw. We do not draw the land that we need because we're a mono black if we don't, we're not playing a mono black deck. Bastard, huh? Pass the turn for one mountain. Wait, this is four mana to come back. Come on, mountain. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna candle trap this and start attacking, wasting our time. Come on, land. Come on, land. There we go. We got a land. We got a land. We got a land. No, we're gonna pass because we have enough mana to exile this guy actually. Next time. We have different power. Sure, you can make us lose one life. We have to exile this guy to make sure they don't get rid of the cantle trap. I'm not sure how, but... Exile him and then we can start to attack in the air. But he has first strike too. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good, but they get to draw a card, which is not good. But we have to exile him on our turn, and then they only have this guy. And then we can attack. Not with him and him, but... We can attack with him. This guy is not good also. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Huh? 
Yeah, they can make us lose one life if they want. No, but then they will lose more life because we just attacked them with everybody. This situation, we just attacked them with one flyer. Last the turn. What a game this has been. Nope, we're gonna take the one damage. We're gonna take it after all. Sure, that's fine. And attack. They can block, but we don't care if she trades with this or this guy. Obviously, it's not a good trade for them. Pass the turn. Oh, their second color. There comes their second color. Duress. Oh, they fell for it. They fell for the old mountain in hand. Duress. Bait. This does absolutely nothing. Uh, let's attack the same way. No, they can block with this now. Let's attack just with this. Actually, we don't care if they have a big guy, and they can also make us lose one life, but that's fine. Sure. Actually, we hope that they will cast a big guy so we can use this on something. I guess next time we can attack with her too. Okay, that's, that's not good. Yeah, they can make another zombie. We need to draw one of our big guys to lock down the board. It's just ridiculous. We managed to draw all the two drops and three drops. We definitely have to lock down the ground. Oh, really? That's interesting. I guess they still have three creatures for this guy. To make us lose a life. Come on! Yes, that's what we need. Lock down the ground. So we still can't attack with this guy. Actually, if he dies, he comes back as a flyer. Double strike, sure. Give him double strike. Yeah, just attack with everybody. No point in keeping him back. If he dies, we can disturb him back for two mana and he's a flyer. Oh, they didn't block? Game over. What's the point of gaining one life? It's more. This is double strike. That is the way of the Boros. Uh, this game was just absolutely ridiculous. They were on mono black and we were on mono white for the whole game. And we got our mountain a little bit faster, but we only cast a 2-1 with the mountain. So that was nothing to be excited about. And they got their planes a little bit late, but I guess most of their deck was black because they played so many black spells. They were doing fine, actually. They were A-OK. -okay. They were A-OK. -okay. And I guess we got lucky, but most of our... Spells are white, not red. So we kind of got lucky that we drew more white. Second turn. Staffy bear, staffy bear. Come on, staffy bear, staffy bear. And of course, why does everyone have this? Yes, because it's a common. Look at it, man. It's a common. I think this guy turned out to be much better than Wizards thought it's gonna be. I guess they can silver him. Huh?
What are you gonna do? Pump it? Minus two, minus two. No, you're just gonna die. Oh, it's gonna kill you with this. Okay, but we still traded one for one, and that guy is pretty dangerous. So, we're not really too worried about it. Let's just flip it while we still have a chance. I mean, we can take two damage from this, and then we can cast this guy and have Stuffy Bear up. Or cast this guy and have the barrage up. Or just cast the big boy. Opponent is on all black again. Yep, they seem to have it going on. They got it going on. Let's attack. I guess you can take 5 damage next turn if they attack with both boys. Because we can't block due to the silver bolt. No. Blocks. Because next turn we can actually cast her and hold that mana for Stuffy Bear to block. And we attack them in the air. How are they still at 20? How are they still at 20? We don't know. Let's attack. Also the apparition has vigilance. So we still have two blockers. Three blockers actually. Cast something big. So we can kill it please. Guess we could block the death touch guy with this vampire. We'll see what they attack with. Everybody. Everybody's coming. Block this guy. Block this guy. Gonna take two damage. Yeah, we'll take two damage. I guess they can suck this to kill our stuffy bear, but we still go two for two. They get a zombie. Or not. Or not. They still keep this up. I mean, there's nothing we can do. We are drawing all lands. Yep, unlimited lands. Okay, let's attack. We keep one blocker. Pass the turn. We have to block here because we're going to take four damage. And we have to top deck a creature ASAP because we played what two creatures? Two creatures this whole game and Stuffy Bear, and we have seven lands. Yeah, that's that's not gonna be good for anybody. Yeah, we definitely have to play a creature and stay back and block. If we don't top deck a creature, we're dead. And if we top deck a small creature, we also dead. Ha ha ha! Look at all this. We played two creatures, three creatures the whole game. Yeah, I mean, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Nine mana! against 6 mana and we play like 3 creatures when we have 18 creatures plus stuffy bear we're gonna get automatic loss designated loss by arena because for some reason even though we have so many creatures we did not draw we only drew 3 creatures out of 18 but we draw more than half of our lands 9 lands out of 17 You got to get mana flooded to experience arena. This is basically why we always want to play only quick drafts. We don't want to play premium drafts because we don't want to waste 10,000 gold pieces to basically get the same 
situation that we got this game. Opponent goes first. We're gonna try to draw planes. Sometimes in the next two draws. Hopefully we top deck a planes. If not, we have two drop. And then hopefully by that time we top deck a plane so we can cast this. That's not a planes. We got two more turns. Okay, that's a planes. That is a plane. Drop this guy next turn. Drop this guy. Obviously, it would have been nice to cast him on the first turn. But that's neither here nor there. Mono blue. Oh no, blue. Let's attack. Which guy is better? This one? I think they don't want to block. This guy or the other guy? Let's try her. I didn't want to block because they want to make him fly. They don't know we have a lot of flyers. We have a lot of flyers. Oh, they got their second color. Okay, we got a top deck of land now. We need a fourth land ASAP to get this guy. And of course, this guy and this guy, because they can come back. Of course, the opponent has this, because every opponent has this thing. That's not a land. So lucky for us, we have this. We need a fourth land ASAP, like yesterday. We need a fourth land yesterday. We need a fourth land ASAP. We need a fourth land ASAP. We need a fourth land ASAP to cast this big boy and. What a shady guy. Okay, there we go. Let's cast this big boy. ASAP. Let's cast the big boy ASAP. Stuck with him and him. Take it, opponent. I don't think they want to trade this for this. If they do, that's fine. That's fine for us. That's so fine for us. So if we top deck a fifth land, we start dropping bombs, especially flying bombs. Oh, they have a counter spot? Sure. Put one on the... Put this in the graveyard. Put that in the graveyard. This thing... It's pump. Thing gets pumped, so let's attack with him. They have a counter, so I don't want to cast anything. Ah, aggravation. Total aggravation. So whatever we cast, they're gonna counter basically. Let's try to cast this guy. I mean, they can counter it, but there's nothing we can do about it. We know they have the counter, but there's nothing we can do about it. Sure. And I think they have to counter it because a 3-3 three, three with first strike is pretty strong. Now what? And they have a rare. And of course they have a rare. Did they get a land? Yes, they got our fifth land, of course. How do we know? We have become prophets. We have become prophets, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Okay, let's go for the second counter. They don't have a second counter. Okay, pass the turn. We still need a fifth land. But we got this bad boy back out. Dreadhound. Okay, kill the, sorry, kill the Dreadhound. 
ASAP. And yeah, they only have two blockers, and there are six. So if they double block this, they're dead. If they block this, they block like this, they're dead. If they don't block like this, he has haste, and they don't know. They don't know we have him, so we could technically finish them off next turn with haste. They're gonna go down to one. <laughs> Really? They can't block with the zombies. Okay, so they go down to one life. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine because we have this bad boy next time. And they have no flyers. Sure. What did they get? They could get a remover spell for this, but they still die to the flyer. Okay, so we have to go for the win. Go for the win. Go for the win. Talk with everybody. He can get first strike, no double strike. Okay, so dead, dead basically. They got something from us, but probably not a lamb, but it doesn't matter. We did it. We did it. With the color screw again. Back to back color screwed games. Yeah, those two guys are pretty big. The four mana guys that transform. And the flyer. So our deck is actually decent if we don't get mana screw again. If the question is if can we not get mana squid? And why does every black deck run the two discard spell and they draw it like third turn or fourth turn? Ponon goes first. What is the chance of us to draw? Uh, we're gonna mulligan. Yeah, of course, of course, we went from all mountains to basically all plains and now no creatures because of course we go from mana screw into mana flood yep we can see the flood we can see it coming in the air tonight flood on flood on we can see we're floating in the air tonight, sure. Flood on. Let's get the first strike guy out so they can't attack with this guy. Unless they pump it. Not sure why they didn't cast anything for 4 mana. It's kind of sketchy. I mean, they have 6 cards and they had 5 cards and 4 mana. They should have something for 4 mana. Can see it coming in the air tonight. Cast this bad boy. Blood on. Blood on. Let's attack. They have something. They might have the guy with flash. But this is first strike. They have to pump this. Oh, they did have the pump. But why didn't they do it last turn? That's kind of sketchy. Anyway, back to back zombies. I think we have to candle trap the zombie. Okay, also gets first strike. We have to play around this sketchy opponent. Yeah, let's attack. If they block, we give it first strike. And cast this guy. But they have another pump spell? Yeah, exactly. That's what we thought. That's what we thought. 
Uh, this guy is incredible, especially if he flips over. Yep. Of course, Diagraph Hall, that's what we have the barrage for. But they still made a whole bunch of tutus, which are incredibly annoying. Because there's no board wipes. Of course. Go. Let's attack with him again. I mean, there's still a 20. Take it. We can cast him end of turn and block this trade. Dread Hound, okay. That's not good because we put one of these on the bottom, but we do have three more. We have to take. Oh, we're gonna cast and block one. So we only take four. It's really bad. Yep. Unfortunately, this is five. We have to candle trap him. We gotta exile him, but everything is like three. <sighs> sure, sure, all hobbling zombies. We have to block. Oh, he gets life link actually. So we need to keep him alive. He can get life link. We have to trade this, but we're gonna lose two life. Ah. Uh... This thing is 6-6. Six, six. I guess we can kill him and attack. But then we die because they just attack with the zombie. That doesn't work. I mean, it is what it is. There's not much we can do. They basically played, they played us. They played us. Yeah, we're dying to this thing. We're dying to this crazy thing. Six mana, six, six. That just deals one damage. Every time a creature dies, not just the opponent's creature. So now, even if we block this. Again, four. This is turning into Strixhaven format all over again. Where we can get more than four wins in quick drafts in this format. We cannot get more than... What's the point? We cannot get more than four wins in these quick drafts in this format. So we have to post the videos because we're never going to get to like six or seven wins. Usually other formats we can win drafts or get to six wins. Doesn't seem like it because we play with gold, not gems. So we have to get mana screwed or color screwed. Every single game it was either Plains or mountains? Three plains or three mountains? Anyway, there you have it. Another four win draft. With the deck that could have easily gone all the way. Even though we only have only one rare. So thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more daily MTG content videos.